Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chow Vinsung. Welcome to our Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. Today, I'm going to tell you more about glaucoma tests. Glaucoma is a condition that permanently damages the eye nerve, and it is the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. For more information about glaucoma, please watch this video. To diagnose glaucoma, your eye doctor will examine your eyes and conduct several tests. Tonometry is a test which measures the pressure in your eye. In an eye with glaucoma, the eye pressure is too high, damaging the eye nerve. There are many ways to perform tonometry, and Goldman Applination Tonometry is generally considered the most accurate. It is really important to get an accurate eye pressure reading to guide glaucoma treatment. Your eye doctor will also perform gonioscopy. Fluid from your eye drains out from the angle of the eye and gonioscopy is used to check whether your drainage angle is open or closed. Your doctor will examine your eye nerve at the slit lamp to determine whether there are any visible signs of damage. Eye drops to dilate your pupil may be required to give a better view of your nerve. Your vision will be blurred for 4 to 6 hours after pupil dilation, so it is not advisable to drive during this time. A photograph of your nerve may also be taken to monitor its appearance over time. Another test called the Optical Coherence Tomography, or OCT for short, uses light waves to obtain a high-resolution and detailed scan of your eye nerves. Precise measurements of the nerve fibre thickness can be obtained with the OCT, so that we can monitor for any changes over time. The visual field test will be performed to check your peripheral vision as most patients with glaucoma lose their peripheral vision first. This test is done in a dark room. One eye is tested at a time with the other eye covered. You will be instructed to look at the central target and you will notice some lights flashing at the side. When you see a flashing light, you need to click a button. Do not look at the peripheral flashing lights but continue to look at the central target. Do not click the button if you do not see any lights. If you feel tired during the test, you can keep holding the button down, which will pause the test and give you a break. Release the button only when you are able to continue with the rest of the test. Pachymetry is another glaucoma test which will measure the thickness of your cornea. The cornea is the transparent structure in the front of the eye. A probe placed on the eye surface will measure the cornea thickness, which helps your doctor to interpret your eye pressure readings. In general, with a thicker cornea, the measured eye pressure will be higher than the true pressure in the eye. The converse is true for a thin cornea. People with very thin corneas may have an increased risk of developing glaucoma. For some people, your test results may indicate conclusively whether you have glaucoma. For others, the test results may be borderline or inconclusive. This means that you may require repeated tests to obtain consistent and reliable results before it is possible to be certain whether you have glaucoma. Glaucoma often has no symptoms, so it is important to get your eyes checked regularly. I hope that you enjoyed this video about glaucoma tests. Please subscribe to our channel to find out more about other eye tests and about other important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.